So my name's Ian Moore, apparently, so they tell me. And uh, I'm often promoted as an interdimensional wizard, and sometimes an intergalactic wizard, I seem to be at this one. Um, yes, so I have nothing planned to say. I have no notes, I don't know where we're going to go. But um, some interesting things that I've been researching over the last 30 years or so to do with energies and to do with us as souls, spirits, whatever you want to call it. And uh, let me start off by showing you this interesting little meter. This is something that I built about 15 years ago. You might want to come a little bit closer, because if I bring the table then you can't see. I don't know, maybe people want to come there. Well, that's what I mean, maybe you want to come a little closer. Uh, Tilting, tilting, tilting. Tilting with what? No, I just meant bring the I just bring the tables. I can tilt. Okay. So, when researching alternative energies, then what we need to do is we need to look at well, who has given us the energies that we use now, like. Uh, mains electricity, light bulbs, all of these, the energies that we are using now. Well, who invented these? Where did they come from? So we go back to these guys and see if they've got anything else. That's the first thing that you would do in researching alternatives. And um, I've got lots of other bits of kit. I'm only going to show you a little bit here because I'll be giving many demonstrations. You can come over to my wizard tent at any time and I've got an ongoing demonstration of all sorts of things. Okay? Meters that register thought, all sorts of stuff. But um, everything from hydrogen explosions to, to lots of fascinating stuff. But this meter here, I became very interested in the idea of can we register the energy of a being? And part of this, I, I got this, let me turn this off. I don't know if you would be able to see the needle here. Can you see the, can, you, can everybody see the needle? Yes? Can you see that I'm trying to go up to it to adjust it, and I can't get there, <laughs> because as soon as I do, it moves, you see. So I'll try, hang on. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of okay. Still, whoops. That's just me walking across over here. Hang on. <laughs> it's a very sensitive meter, as you can see. But can everybody see that that is definitely <coughs> me that's causing that? Yes? Everybody agreed? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, this demonstrates that just because you can't see something doesn't mean to say it's not there. So, there are lots of energy fields and things around that <coughs> exist that just because you can't see them doesn't mean to say that they're not surrounding it. I can operate this meter on a good day when it's nice and dry and what have you in a field when there's nothing else around from about 19 to 20 feet it's further than this and you can do this with your hands and then you won't do it in here because there's too much too many other people and too many other energy fields but you can see <laughs> you know already just just here watch this with my hair so I don't know if you've uh it, yes, well, too late. <laughs> so, so um, yeah, I, I, I will repeat, okay. so don't worry. Um, <coughs> so it's picking up energy fields that are around, in this case, around bodies and things like that. Uh, sometimes other objects it will pick up. And if you get a roll of sellotape, and you open a roll of sellotape, it goes berserk, absolutely berserk. 
But this demonstrates, for example, you can see that this is operating from here. Well, that shows that I have an energy field from there to here, which means that I have it from here to here, which means it's up here to here. Which is. So I'm at least that big as, a, as an energy thing. And so each of us have these energy fields that are around us. And like I say, I can measure it quite happily from 20 feet away with just this little thing that I knocked up one, one day. Um, which shows that you are at least 20 feet in diameter. And that's why when somebody's... Um, when somebody's... Um, uh, you know, when somebody's um, in your space, <laughs> then, you know, these are perhaps, perhaps, the kind of buffeting that we're getting, that these energy fields, maybe it's to do with that. Uh, maybe it isn't. But it certainly would be similar to this. Now, some people will say, <coughs> yeah, but what's it measuring? Yeah, what's it measuring? And I would say, correct. That is correct. That is the correct question to be asking. Yes, what is it measuring? I could get in there and adjust it if we really want it on a different place on the beach, but it doesn't really. Look, it's doing a thing. Right? <laughs> the fact that it's going this way or that way, it's irrelevant. The fact is, is that I can influence that from a distance, full stop. <coughs> um, so, this then brings into question, and you know, just because you can't see something doesn't mean to say it's not so. Some people will say auras, what, spiritual aura? You know, I don't want any of that nonsense, you know, I want to hear about science. The proper down to earth stuff, you know. Something right. Like uh, yes, yeah, apparently you can. Yes. <laughs> right. So, there are energies that you can detect quite clearly. Now, somebody's going to come along and say, oh, yeah, but that's electrostatics. Oh, right. Oh, is that what it is? Oh, I thought he was talking about the aura or something. Oh, it's just electrostatics. Oh, right. Okay, electrostatic. Electric fields. Oh, electromagnetic fields. You see... These energy fields have been around since the beginning of beings. And it's only in the last hundred years or so that we've got these words. Oh yes, it's an electron-proton device <coughs> where the electrons are repelling from the photonic uh, device in so many nanosecond uh, per meters. And it's all, it's all understood. You know, so it, we, we, look, we, look, you can do a course on it if you like. <laughs> it's more physics. Um, so, and yet I can show you, demonstrate to you another energy field, another energy field that there's no scientist alive or that we know of that can tell you how this works, and yet it's extremely simple to demonstrate. So I can demonstrate an energy field that's very commonplace that no scientist can, can tell us how it works. So if I just get my... Uh, my normal mode, this is my normal mode, which is very important. <laughs> I don't want to lose that one. This, I have to keep hold of that one. Anyway, this, just a, a device, any, any kind of thing, a yeah, household object, a normal object. <laughs> Sorry, interdimensional wizardry, you have to do some wacky things. <laughs> okay, so this energy field is operating under here, and it's very simple to observe its effects. An invisible energy field that no scientist can tell you how this works. Are you ready? So for under here, right, are you ready? Okay, I think everybody got that. So we have a name for that. <coughs> uh, yes, that's his name, that's a good thing. <laughs> Uh, we can tell you how fast it went down, 33 feet per second, yes. We well, can tell you what circumstances it happens, well, it happens with big things like planets, a uh, lot of mass, you know, any planet will do it. 
So we'll tell you <coughs> when it happens, but not actually what's happening. In other words, there is a communication from the ground to the object. <laughs> if we just grab this from the ground to the object, <laughs> there's a communication. What is it constructed of? Is it made of atoms? Is it made of little pixies with fishing hooks? That <laughs> yes. you know, you know, I always think of those little monkeys. There was a game where you join one monkey onto another monkey, you know, and then pull the object. Well, it's not known. So mankind, this science, can't even tell you why things fall down. Well, if we don't know why things fall down, how come then that we're so sort of oh yeah, science knows everything now. Oh, uh, so we, we we you know we, we know everything about uh, well pretty much everything now. You know, we, all we need is this hedron collider thing where they smash the we smash things up <laughs> and then if and then it <laughs> you, you wouldn't understand you wouldn't understand you know. <laughs> But you can do a course in it, you know, uh, for five years. You can stick a label on it. You stick a label on it. Absolutely. Like, why so, do birds fly south in winter? Instinct. Right. What's instinct? Yes, it's it's like like exactly. <laughs> so I would like to say the word the same with the words electrostatic. So I say that this meter, which as you can see is operating from me doing stuff, yes? that it's measuring electrostatics. Oh, well, that's easily understood then. Well, the word static means stationary, right? So, okay, would everybody agree that that mobile phone now I've placed on the ground, right? And it's now stationary, it's static. Everybody agreed with that? <coughs> Well, no, that's about 500 miles from where I put it. <laughs> that's now about 700 miles, 800 miles. <laughs> that's coming up for 1,000 miles from where I put it. Because the Earth is spinning round at 1,000 miles an hour, and the Earth is going round the Sun at 23,000 miles an hour or something. Plus, of course, the Sun is travelling around the galaxy, Plus, the galaxy is travelling around, goodness knows what. <laughs> so, the def define static. Right. <coughs> so, electrostatic energies. Electrons staying still. <laughs> right, well, that's helpful. Oh, yes, this is electrons staying still. Right. You know, many people seem to think that that's a sufficient answer when they hear the word electrostatic. I went to a tumble dryer. I was, I was uh, doing some washing, and I put some silk scarves into a tumble dryer. These three silk scarves, I took them out, and they were flying up in the air, they were sticking to me, and then when you... <laughs> like that, this snap, crack, and pop, like little sparks and things, and little tassels flying up in the air. And I was going, wow, look at this, look at this, in this tumble, in this uh, laundrette. And this child looked at me, stony-faced, and said, oh yeah, that's electrostatics. <laughs> 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 you know, 